Hey, uh, it's me, Ken, and it's it's been a while. So first, no, this isn't a Ken quitting YouTube video. On the other hand, there's definitely gonna be some changes with the content that I produce and specifically with this channel. For the last year or so, something has really felt off to me about the content that I was producing. It wasn't until around four months ago that I finally put a finger on what that was. What I realized is that I'm out of touch. I didn't realize how much I personally evolved as a creator and in my career, and that in turn affected my content. Much of the content that I've been making is targeted for people who are new to data science or are people trying to land data jobs. The truth of the matter is that my job no longer requires me to hire people for data science roles, and I haven't experienced the growing pains of first learning data science in almost 10 years. I had to ask myself, how can I be creating content that's useful to my audience if I'm so removed from where they are. This worked fine when I was only a few years removed from learning the basics and interviewing candidates, but as the landscape has changed rapidly, I really don't feel comfortable making content around topics that I'm not intimately familiar with. So this has led me to making promises I didn't feel I could deliver, and also making content that I really wasn't necessarily proud of. That's not the type of educator that I wanna be, and I still definitely wanna be an educator. That's one of my core values. Like many others, I could always pivot my content towards AI and the advancements there, but honestly, my heart just really isn't in that. I think there are plenty of incredible creators who are doing an awesome job covering those stories, and they're really able to dedicate time and immerse themselves in these new tools in a way that I don't believe I can. Like many other people also, I'm finding it overwhelming to keep up with all the new AI advancements and the applications of those. The idea of having to produce new content every time something, some new innovation happens isn't exactly my idea of a good time. And it's also not how I feel I could produce the most value for the people who are willing to spend time listening to my content. So what can you expect from me in the future? First, I still really enjoy making videos and telling stories and especially interviewing people. I'm far from burning out in the content space. I still love the field of data science and I'll continue to do interviews with practitioners and other interesting people on the Ken's Nearest Neighbors podcast. I personally feel like this is the best service I can provide for the data community in the sense that I'm bringing real people sharing real experiences during their career to a forum. Outside of this, I'll be dedicating effectively all of my waking time to a new project, which is called the Exponential Athlete Podcast. On that podcast, I'll be doing in-depth studies of the greatest athletes of all time to determine what made them so successful against their competition. I'll complement these case studies with interviews from athletes, support staff, technologists, and other people who are chasing the pinnacle of performance. This obviously might not resonate with as much of this community, but if you know me well, sports is truly my first love. I've tried to play professional golf and it didn't go well. <laughs> and this podcast is a way for me to do a deep study into why I personally failed on that journey and how we can all apply the things we learn from the greatest of all time to improve our outcomes. This is a story I feel like I can also tell uniquely well as a former athlete and as someone who's worked with many professional athletes and teams in my sports analytics work. If it seems like this would interest you, I have left some links below. Again, I realize not for everyone in the data domain, but it is something I'm truly obsessing over. So what happens to this YouTube channel? Here's what I'm thinking. I'll probably take a break for a little while longer, but when I come back, I plan to produce more content that is fun and a bit more relevant to the career stage that I'm at. It will again be educational and hopefully interesting. I'll be attending some conferences and I've already attended some conferences and meetups, and I'd love to give you all an inside look into these unique experiences. To be clear, I don't think any of this is a bad thing. It's the natural course of things to evolve over time. It's also time for me to make a change, but with all change comes growth. I'm still loving the process of doing this. I'm loving researching and creating content, and I hope you find love and enjoyment in what you're doing, even if it means that you have to pivot a little bit over time. Until next time, good luck on your own journey, wherever it takes you.